it's not choose a star. It's choose something like a star. And for me, this whole poem is, um, is talking symbolically about God. And so this is, so when you start to think that, okay, the poet is talking about God. And when it gets down to the angry part, when it says, talk Fahrenheit, talk centigrade, use, use language, I can understand. You know what I'm talking about? So, it's a little bit of the fact that God is up there, and God, that, or the person that created us, right? Um, but doesn't, in any tangible way, communicate with us. Can y'all get that? So, so the poet acknowledges that there's a God and says, um, talk Fahrenheit, you in some way communicate with me. If you're up there and created this universe, why don't you communicate with something that I can, in some way that I can understand? And once I started, once I realized that that was probably going on, I, I started to read the rest of the poem in, in that way. O oh, star, the fair, fairest one in sight, I'm worshiping God, sort of. We grant your loftiness to right to some obscurity of cloud. It's okay, God, if you want to be a little bit obscure. I'll grant you some obscurity. It will not do to say at night. But then since dark is what brings out your light. I think that if I'm interpreting it spiritually just a little bit, is to say that uh, it's not until the darkest moments of my life when God really shines. And I'm sure that in some way that you have um, thought about that before.